Hi, I'm Justin from Alberta, Canada, and you're watching Trucker Josh Vlogs on YouTube. <laughs> Good morning, my internet friends, all of you. Thanks for tuning in to another video today and coming to hang out with me so I'm not all by myself. I don't have diesel with me now, so it gets kind of lonely. It's just me and my cleaning products. And they're kind of hard on me. You know, they clean everything, but they stink. Even my, my hands. Actually, this, my hands smell really nice. The hand sanitizer that I have now, that I, that I found, it, it's made by a company I don't think that makes regular hand sanitizer. They usually make like soaps and stuff, but I guess they, since you know the demand went up, they started making hand sanitizer. And I got myself a bottle, lucky me. And uh, it smells like flowers. My hands smell like flowers. But they're clean and germ free. So we're uh, out here in uh, Alexandria, Minnesota right now on our way home. We have that uh, load on our back, LTL freight. I got one load going into Winnipeg and I got one load going into Steinbach. We're going to Steinbach first tomorrow morning and then going to Winnipeg and then I made myself available to keep going right away. And he let it slip, the load god let it slip that, hey, maybe, maybe, maybe there might be some Jackson, Tennessee involved. I hope so, but that was just a rumor and that was not confirmed. But it got me excited and hopeful, so. I'll take all the hope I can get in these days. So uh, again, thanks for joining me, wherever you are, whoever you are. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know how you liked the video. Let me know if I did something wrong. Let me know if you agree with me. I'm just an average guy doing my job, so. Let's get on with the day, let's get trucking. Oh, okay, so we just grabbed fuel here. Get ourselves back on the road. So every morning I wipe down my dash and all the surfaces that I touch, right? And I disinfect it. Or I do it in the evening, you know, once a day at least. It's probably best just to do it in the evening, but whatever. I, I did it in the morning and uh, sometimes I forget to roll down the windows like my wife tells me to when I'm cleaning stuff. And the cleaning product is kind of hard on the lungs, so it makes me cough. And then I think I got something, so I start cleaning more, which makes me cough more. And then I realize, oh, let's open the windows, get some fresh air. Uh, story of my life now. This is the world we live in, right? Let's get back onto the freeway here. Got a few hours to get, get back to the border. Probably gonna stop at Grand Forks, I'm thinking, or Fargo, somewhere along there for a coffee, but other than that, we're trucking on back. 100 meters, turn left on CR 45 and then take the freeway entrance into 120 meters. I don't think I'm gonna have time to go home, unfortunately, but I wanna keep moving. I wanna keep these wheels turning. Like I was telling you, uh, was it yesterday or this morning? Uh, in these times that we're in, I want to, I'll, I'll take whatever I can get. I will, just give me a load to pull, I'll pull it. Just want to keep moving. One thing that's nice about not having diesel with me. No dog hair, very nice. Look at this. Oh yeah, I don't even have to put a sheet or anything on top of here. This dirty laundry should actually be at the foot of my bed. That's where that's supposed to be. This is supposed to be hung up on the hanger, but it is not, I don't know why. I don't know why I got Borat's voice stuck in my head. See, see what we can do is left-handed, one-handed, left-handed. 
Oh, no way. Your boy's got skills. Tell you what. Hang you up there, up my belt here. Got this here. All so nice and neat. But I still miss Diesel. Diesel's worth all the hair and the mess. Though I was talking to Britt. Because one day, I mean, Diesel's turning into an old man. And we, we don't like talking about it, but, you know, we don't live forever. But one day, when I'm ready for a new companion on the road, then long in the future, I haven't really put much thought into it yet, because I don't want to. But uh, one day, you know, maybe we'll go with a little bit of a smaller dog. I was thinking going bigger. I want a lean burger. A big dog, but they shed a lot. Just thinking, maybe I should get like a small dog. I want him to be like a little, I don't want to say feisty. I don't want a yapper. No chihuahuas, no yappy yappers. But is there any small dogs that are actually not yappers? That look kind of like tough? I want a little tough little guy. I don't want a sissy little dog. I want a, I want a good little manly dog. But, I don't know, miniature pincher? But they're barky, I hear. I don't like yappy dogs. I'll do some research. I got a long time yet. Diesel's gonna live for years and years yet, so I don't know. Might go with a small dog. They're a little easier to uh, easier in a truck, but we'll see. We we manage with Diesel just fine. Can't wait to get him back in here. Maybe the next trip, you know. Maybe sooner than we thought. Well, we grabbed fuel earlier today in Alexandria, so now I just need fuel for myself. I didn't grab coffee there. So we're gonna grab a coffee here. We're in Grand Forks, North Dakota. This is the last flying day before we hit Canada. Just gotta run up to our yard, pick up some paperwork, and then I'm gonna go down to uh, probably Saint Agaf and stay at the Flying J there, so I can have a shower. Just thread the needle here, nice and easy. Watch for people. Watch for people. So apparently they're still dealing with. A little bit of flooding out here. Look at all this water. Wow. The Red River goes, uh, pulls north into Canada, just to our right, about maybe a mile, a mile over to our right, and it's spilt its banks. And it's come all the way out here. And it probably goes to my left, it's probably about another half mile that way yet. Every year. Some years are worse than others, but man, that's some deep water there already. Yikes. Couldn't imagine living in this flood basin, that's what we call it, a flood basin. And uh, it, it does this so often, almost every year, and every year you got a sandbag around your house. Or you got to, uh, or you got to uh, build a dike, a permanent dike around your house. It's, it would be It'd be hard to sell your house. It, it must be expensive to insure your house in areas like this. We're fortunate enough that we live on pretty high ground. It would be pretty, uh, I think Winnipeg would have to be underwater for us to get flooded where we're at. Yes, just about coming onto the road. I think this is where the road was closed on the way down, but it's open now. They just have warnings here that there may be water on the road. Here it comes pretty close, right by this side. Right up there. <laughs> Coming onto the shoulder a little bit here. It's almost like I'm driving over a bridge, right? Nope. Just the Red River. It's springtime. <laughs> Look how far it goes that way. And this exit is closed here because the, the off-ramp is covered in water. <laughs> wow. Look at that. I'm still pretty surprised that they built this main highway so close to the river that always floods. It's the same thing in Manitoba up north, straight from here. Like this is I-29 north. It turns into Highway 75 once we get to Canada. And it floods every year, every year. And the road is always in bad shape because the water goes over the road and then it ruins the road and got to redo it again and again and again. I think that they would, you know, I don't know, it'd be so expensive to rebuild it now, but here we are, right? 
expensive freeway going right up to the Canadian border and then an expensive highway. It's a lot of investment just to throw out the window to build a new one a few miles that way. Can't imagine how expensive these roads would be to build. So it works. I mean, if anything, maybe one day they'll just build it up higher again. Just so that, because that side, look at that side over there, that side's almost underwater. I can understand if they would just build it up higher, maybe. Just every time you redo the road, just build it up like six inches is higher and higher and higher. Eventually, I guess you'd have to redo all the bridges though. That's, that's the problem. That is what it is. Anybody got a boat? Anyone want to go fishing? into Canada and they greeted us with an open scale. Rude. Turn left. Oh, yeah, we'll turn I'm getting out of here. They gave me the green light. Still rude. So, uh, <laughs> an hour ago, till we get back, I gotta go to our yard. Meters. Turn stop right on. Now. Lord nice. Selkirk Highway. Highway 75. Yeah, first I gotta stop here. That's new. New stop signs, okay. You gotta go and grab some paperwork. And then uh, tomorrow I'm making both these deliveries. And then it looks like I'm hooking up or I'm loading up another load in Winnipeg on the same trailer. That's 200 meters, turn right on. Lord Selkirk Highway, Highway 75. The load I'm loading tomorrow in Winnipeg is taking me to Southern Illinois. And then after Southern Illinois, I've got some kind of load plan taking me to Ontario again. And then from Ontario back to Alberta. Continue on this road for 13 kilometers. So, like I said the other day, I got my whole week planned out for me again. It's actually more than a week, probably my next two weeks. So next morning, we're just letting the truck warm up. We started her up. Oh, we'll stretch ourselves out. I gotta go inside. I'm back to the pre trip. Well, I checked the oil before I started the engine, but you know what I mean. Okay, so today's the day, or tomorrow's vlog is the day when we go and deliver all this stuff. First, we're delivering that last piece back there, and then all of this stuff up here in Winnipeg. So, that last piece is going to Steinbach, and all this stuff's going to Winnipeg. Had a really good night, I'm feeling good. Got the tri-axle. And my next load is going to be taking me back to Ontario for some of that heavy steel, I think. So I hope you enjoyed the video today. Tomorrow's another day. I hope to see you here tomorrow.